Bits continues to serve its traditional web offset market, but over the years we started to expand into a lot of different markets. We're heavily involved in the variable repeat sheeting for uh, paperboard and packaging. We do uh, multi-web finishing lines for the uh, what we refer to as the deli wrap industry for the fast food industry. Uh, we're also involved in sheeting film, individual components. We're involved in several different industries and what that allows us to do is bring that knowledge together and apply it to different uh, solutions that customers are looking for. At VITS, we're, we're always willing to take on new challenges. We've had customers come to us and say, you know, I've looked at a lot of different vendors in the industry and I've explained to them what I want to do, and all of them have come back to me and said, you know, it can't be done, we're not willing to take the risk. Uh, we like to listen to our customers and take on new challenges so that we can grow our business and help those customers that are willing to take a risk and try something new in the industry. So we never really try to fit a square peg into a round hole. What we like to do is take what the customer needs and try and blend that with what we've done in the past. So we're always looking to uh, customize the solution to the exact needs of the customer and have it be a system that fits their need today but can also grow with them in the future so that as their business grows, the equipment that they purchase from us today can be modified and expanded to, to fit their business three years, five years, seven years from now. Bits has really evolved into a different company altogether. Instead of just being a sheeter company, they've really become a very customized company. They're a company that uh, will listen to what you have to say. They can, you know, if you have a concept that you want, uh, VITS has the uh, engineering and the technology behind them to pretty much create any solution that you're looking for. We've kind of evolved over the years from a commercial printer into a direct mailer and we have uh, grown to a, to a level of being one of the top direct mailers in the, uh, in the United States. When we were working with Wyland on their project, uh, it was really a partnership between us and them. They took the chance on VITS and, and partnered with us to supply them with a piece of innovative equipment that hadn't been done before. So we decided that we could come up with the first variable inline and it could be driven by this VITS cutter. There was a lot of work behind it still because the variable aspects also have to be uh, taken a look at for, um, from the aspect of all the different sizes that the press can produce and what the line can actually do. VITS had no speed limitation based on what we could do from the variable aspect. In other words, the variable aspect can run up to a thousand feet a minute and the VITS cutter could easily keep up with that and more. Nobody else could do that. VITS sent down a couple of uh, mechanical engineers and a programmer and uh, we went to work. They were able to customize a cutter that they had out of the box. In the end, VITS's uh, uh, dedication to us is really what carried us through. We ran a live job almost immediately and uh, the job was a complete success and from that point on I could almost, if I was to graph our production after that point, it would be literally a straight line. What that enabled us to do was eliminate the aspect of up to 10 offline business forms type machines to produce the exact same product that this one line can produce in 24 hours. I haven't put a dime into this cutter. I mean, not one nickel has gone into this cutter. It's just normal maintenance. Uh, in fact, I can't even, I don't even think there's grease points that we have to do on it. So it's really that maintenance free. In addition to that, the training on the bits was amazing. I was able to teach my operators how to use this cutter in literally five minutes. Uh, the HMI is extremely uh, user friendly. It's simple to, to scroll through and it's very, uh, it's very deliberate in, in its intent. It's the fastest lock on that I've ever worked with. In addition, our, our movement on the, uh, on the cutter is, is plus or minus a 32nd of an inch. We hold tighter uh, red, uh, cutoff registration than I've ever seen any piece of equipment hold. Even after having this cutter three years, and generally it's most certainly not under warranty anymore, I can still pick up the phone and say, listen guys, I got this product that I've got to, you know, that, that's gonna be a little bit different than we're used to, and uh, you know, I may need to tweak something within the program to be able to achieve it, and within minutes, I'm, uh, I've, the, the cutter is programmed to do what I need it to do. And one of the problems with variable aspects is that you buy a piece of equipment and in, you know, within five years it's obsolete and, and all new uh, technologies out. What's uh, great about the VITS cutter is that this cutter is going to be relevant for many, many years to come. And in fact, it is not only paving the way, but it's going to be the way. So in short, speed, durability, no maintenance, small amount of labor has a direct impact on our bottom line. And I think that's what uh, the commercial web uh, divisions are looking for, and I think uh, VITS answers that call. VITS has had a long history in the graphic arts industry, and, and we've been fortunate enough to uh, expand our business into the digital inkjet web business. Uh, but we're not stopping there, so keep an eye on VITS. We've got a lot of new innovations coming down the pike, and uh, a year from now, two years from now, uh, will be totally new innovations, new products, new developments that we're going to offer to the industry. And, 
and really, I think, build upon the success we've had over the past couple years.